everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm very happy to have you here guys oh my gosh our little community is growing like what <laughs> oh i'm so happy like we are over 640 people here what <laughs> for the longest time i had the idea that i was only talking to myself but apparently not anymore thank you for watching my videos thank you for supporting my videos thank you I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for all your beautiful comments like I swear some of you just like leave the nicest comments under my videos and you put the biggest smile on my face and I know for some 640 might not be a big number but guys we are talking about people not numbers so 640 people are a lot of people so yes thank you so much i really appreciate you guys so yes um as you can see by the title today i want to share my thoughts about a very popular fragrance here in the youtube uh, fragrance community here on youtube and that one is minari chill extase rose absolute guys if you've been watching my videos for a while you already know that i love rose in my fragrances like if i were to do a top 10 for life like eight out of those 10 fragrances would have rose in the notes breakdown like i'm almost certain about that so um yes i absolutely love rose in my fragrances oh like if the lighting is changing i'm sorry but like the sun keeps uh going and coming so yes i cannot do anything about that i usually go for middle eastern roses i usually go for um more darker roses you know like and by roses i mean like fragrances that have rose in them or i either opt for like very spicy balsamic woody kind of woody roses you know those kinds i'm not really a huge fan of fresh roses so like a fresher take on a rose so this is why uh or like a musky take on a rose they're just not my cup of tea with this in mind if you're interested in hearing my opinion about uh, this fragrance then definitely keep on watching here is how the packaging looks. Uh, I hope you can see. Here it has like some details. I love black and gold mixed together. I think it's one of the most gorgeous color combinations out there. So yes, for me packaging plus, 10 plus honestly. So let me actually show you the bottle. The bottle is even more stunning honestly. You know like, ah! Uh, it's, it's gorgeous honestly like what can you want more like also the bottle again screams class and sophistication it's not a cheap bottle it doesn't look cheap it doesn't feel cheap the cap also it's not plastic sort of a metal kind of cap and it's it has quite a it's quite heavy guys also like the bottle the bottle is quite heavy you know it's not like one of those very light bottles but now Again, it has uh, some really gorgeous, like, I don't, I don't think that the camera picks it up, but it has some gorgeous, like, details here on the sides, which I absolutely love, like, well, like I said, I'm a sucker for black and gold, so what can I do? Now, scent wise, guys, let me actually spray this fragrance. <sighs> okay, this fragrance just makes me so happy, oh my gosh. Guys, wow, okay, so I will talk a little bit about the scent, I won't tell you the notes because I don't want to ramble too much, I will insert the notes somewhere here, I will talk a little bit about what I can actually pick from the fragrance and after that I will talk a little bit about the performance and in the end I will tell you who or like what kind of people would really appreciate this fragrance i want to let you know if this fragrance is suitable for you or not so let's begin scent wise this one is made around the rose which is a good thing if you love roses and it's a bad thing if you don't like roses and you were thinking that you could like uh, go buy it no you cannot you will pick up the rose from the moment you apply it it is the strongest note in the opening till the very bits of the dry down you will get the rose so you have to like rose if you do not like rose i'm not sure that you will vibe with this one just to let you know that now what kind of rose is in this fragrance um well it is a very like how i would picture this scent like think of um think of a bouquet of roses but like a very dark like burgundy almost or like uh like a wine colored roses you know like a very 
dark red wine kind of color now you have a bouquet of those kind of roses and you take them and you make rose jam out of it and that rose jam is a little bit fermented and that's when you smell it it's very thick it's almost like a little bit syrupy it's very sweet but not sugary sweet this is not like roses vanilla not at all even though it has rose and it has vanilla but they are like polar opposites Rosie's Vani goes into the gourmand category, this one goes into the oriental, leaning, middle eastern kind of vibe, so uh, just to let you know that. Now, the rose is a very dark, it's a very mature and it's a very sophisticated kind of rose. It's not your light, fresh rose, it's not your playful, playful rose, it is your very mature, alluring and mysterious kind of rose, uh, which I love. Like I said, you will get it all throughout the fragrance, so you cannot, like, if you do not like rose, don't even think about trying this one. If you don't like rose, then maybe try L'Extase, the simple one, but like, if you love rose, then I feel like this one is one you should try. Besides the rose, the most prominent notes that you will pick, or at least that I pick from the fragrance, are the vanilla. But the vanilla here, again, is not your light... Um, cupcakey kind of vanilla it's more your dark like vanilla bean or vanilla extract kind of vanilla so again this is a very earthy um dark and a fragrance that's very mature the word that would describe this fragrance the best honestly it's sophistication and sensuality this fragrance is very sensual not sexy but sensual Oh, I love this one so much, like, oh my gosh. I like it so much that I'm actually looking to buy a Becca bottle for it, but uh, I cannot find it at the moment online. Besides the rose and the vanilla, the other notes that you will get, most likely, are the resinous, the resin, you will get the resinous aspect of the fragrance. This one is very warm, it's almost like it leans a little bit balsamic. And also you will get the cedar wood. It's very woody. In the beginning, you don't pick up the woody aspect, you pick up more like the balsamic resinous aspect. But as it will, as it begins to dry down on your skin, and when you get through like the last stages, you will actually get the, the woody aspect a little bit more. I don't pick up any wood. Um, so if you do not like wood, do not let that put you off. This doesn't have any wood. At least I do not pick up any wood. Like occasions, honestly, this is not your, uh, I mean, it could be your everyday signature scent, of course. It's definitely signature scent worthy, in my opinion. But only if you have, like, um, a style that's a little bit more elegant, that's a little bit more classy and sophisticated. Honestly, guys, I don't think that this is the kind of fragrance that would work with, uh, like, a t-shirt and jeans and sneakers. Uh, mm -mm, no. This is the kind of fragrance that you have to dress a little bit more elegant to pull it off at least in my opinion most people i feel like most people would wear it um in the colder months but personally i can wear this one all year round so if you like to wear heavier scents in the warmer months this one is definitely one that you can wear and you can appreciate in the warmer months as well now let's talk a little bit about uh, the performance i do not have problems with the performance honestly like I've said, I am talking about uh, the batch from 2016. I don't know other batches, how they are, how they perform. I'm only talking about the batch. I will try to insert like the batch number or the batch code here to make it a little bit easier for you as a reference. Uh, but yes, with this one, I do not have problems with the performance. So when it comes to longevity on the skin, honestly, it depends with this. With fragrances in general, it depends. Or at least in my case, it depends. If I moisturize my skin prior, I get better longevity. If I do not moisturize my skin and I just apply it, you know, like without any prepping, um, I can get around like four to five hours on my skin. But like in those four to five hours, I'm really able to smell it, okay? So it's there. I don't have to really struggle to smell it. It's there. If I prep my skin and I do like my little routine before, then I get around, I would say seven hours maximum on my skin. Uh, but like again, after like five hours, I do have to uh, get closer to my skin in order to be able to smell it. But in my opinion, this is not an issue. And let me tell you why. On clothes, it lasts four days. Okay, 
four days and if you spray it on clothes like you get easily a full day wear of this one like i spray around 10 sprays 10 sometimes a little bit less it depends where i'm going and like what's the occasion if it's indoors i spray a little bit less supposedly if it's outdoors i spray a little bit more but like guys with 10 sprays you get a full day wear if you spray it on clothes and it also guys in your hair it smells oh, i love to spray fragrances in my hair but like if you have um very curly hair fragrances could dry out your hair and also if you have bleached hair do not apply fragrances in your hair because if your hair is bleached it's dry it's drier and if you put alcohol on it it's it's not a good mix honestly so i would not recommend you but because I, I my hair is not bleached and i have a lot of hair and my hair is very thick and strong so i don't see why i don't think that's a problem you know it is a very unique fragrance okay like i'm thinking at like as i'm speaking i'm thinking about all the rose fragrances that i have at the moment in my collection and i have quite a few and i don't have anything similar to this one so um this is why i would actually advise you to try it to bite even to blind bite if you know you like rose but only if you know you like rose um i absolutely love this fragrance i absolutely love this fragrance guys like i love it i love it i love it it's mature it's a little bit more elegant without being very uh, rigid you know like so far guys i haven't came across anything that's not similar to this one by looking uh, on the Fragrantica page, I've seen that people compare it to uh, Kayali's Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I have not tried that one yet. I want to try it, but I don't know if it's similar to that one or not. Um, but what I can tell you is that this one is a great feminine sensual scent. Guys, something that I wanted to add scent-wise. Um, in the dry down, you get a little bit of a patchouli vibe. Um, so yes, this is definitely a, the kind of fragrance that's a little bit darker, you know, it's not your happy kind of bubbly bright fragrance or scent. No, it's definitely a more darker, more earthier kind of fragrance without, without being too earthy, okay? The sweetness of the rose, the sweetness of the vanilla, the spices and everything are very, are, are very toned down by the woody notes and by the resinous, uh, the resinous aspect of the fragrance. So yes. If I were to describe it in a few words, this is what I would say it smells like. Rose jam that's a little bit fermented with a warm kind of resinous ambery balsamic vibe to it and some woody notes in the background. I don't get the spicy aspect of it. I wouldn't say that this is a spicy fragrance, but I feel like the spices in the opening are there to just basically like sort of like almost like lift up the fragrance a little bit, if that makes sense to like almost make it a little bit sparkling and bright but after that like it goes into a very dark very mysterious kind of uh, territory so that yes guys this is everything i wanted to tell you about the fragrance uh, if you have any questions please put them down below and i promise that i will get back to you um, i want to thank you again for all the lovely people who've subscribed to my channel and who support me and who comment on my videos you are the best and i send you big warm hugs uh, so yes guys, this is everything I wanted to tell you. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye! Mwah.